holographic multiverse. Don't know why I'm doing it like this when you can't see me. I'm your host, Paul, joined with Angela. Yeah, you're doing the robot. That's okay. pretty... I'm going to take it back. Chandler. I'm going to do the cabbage patch. <laughs> and Rob. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any dances. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. I know I know all the bad ones. I know all the ones that are like, oof, that boy is white. There's a, there's a part of me. So I've seen almost every Step Up movie. So I consider myself a connoisseur of good hip hop dance. <laughs> and there's a part of me who's always just like, uh, man. He was spilled early this episode. <laughs> I guess I guess I like I guess I should ask. Well, why. okay. The first Step Up movie sucks. That's they're trying to make a real movie. Nobody wants that. Starting with Step Up to the Streets, it there's no the plot doesn't matter. It's just like an act. It's like John Wick, but instead of action sequences, they're dance sequences. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, I have seen <laughs> that Step Up movie. And um, I am going to disagree. It I haven't seen it in like Wick. 50. <laughs> <laughs> it was nothing like John Wick. And I think that's a very fair thing to say. I I, John I'm not going to step up. I'm movie, not going to argue like... that. I'm, clearly John Wick is different. But can we, can we have though like a John Wick step up movie? They're making <laughs> four and five. So who knows? Yeah. It's like, oh, you killed my dog. Dance off. <laughs> Anyway, Budapest. <laughs> all I'm saying is there's there's In part Budapest. of me that hopes when Max is older, he's like, Dad, I don't want to play football. I want to do hip hop dance. And I'd be like, yes, <laughs> let's go. I, do I don't want to play football. I want to step up to the streets. I lo- that was like, it's like so beautifully white how you're saying it too. You're like, I want a hip hop dance. <laughs> I don't know. There's probably other terms for it. I don't know. I watched a we lot of uh, the America's Best hop. Dance Crew in the college. I used to watch that a lot. <laughs> Did you ever see the the um like how to hip hop how to like do hip hop videos from like the early nineties? Oh. <laughs> With the lady in the Yeah and like and like she's got like straight like cowboy boots on. Oh no. Have you seen the one with the cowboy boots? I maybe I've seen She's a like, lot of random hip-hop. old dance yeah, she videos. Yeah, to do like country hip hop. That is a lot of white. <laughs> it was very white, that and I enjoyed it thoroughly. I'm well aware of my whiteness, <laughs> and I just oh, embrace yeah. it. So I need to dance. You know, you just do like the. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, well, yeah. Go, well, I do like the safe guy. <laughs> yeah, there's like the there's like the the right. the wacky wavy inflatable arm tube man white guy, and then there's yeah, the like ooh. stand in the corner and just kind of like go side to side really stiff because you're the afraid. Sprinkler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I remember, remember like, remember like you're going, you know, you're, you're going shopping, pushing the cart yeah. and it grabs one from this shelf and something from that the, shelf. The key oh, is to oh, look and then incredibly was like the, like uncomfortable. The fishing. <laughs> I remember like in uh, high school, like as a joke, like be like, oh, I'm going to do the fish. It's like, I like doing it and, and a girl be like, oh, and I really <laughs> like, oh, she's coming in. Oh God, what do I do? I can't stop reeling her in. This is awkward. Do you want to go out? I'm gay. <laughs> for f- no, you just I, as I soon as she shows up, just be like, it's just catch and release, and just unhook her and send her a good. <laughs> it was just like I was clowning around. Fishy Why is she getting? Too- oh coming. God, I'm only 15. I don't know what to do next. <laughs> just awkwardly breathe. Even my breathing would would, would like be cracked. You're like, ha. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Even my snores. What is happening? I don't know. It's another episode. People, you know, this is just, you know, spiral, it's that time of night. You just want to talk about dancing. It happens. It happens. Yeah, the listeners know. Listen, this is the warm up. This is the warm up. We're yeah. we're getting. We're we're you know we're we're feeling the energy. We're setting the tone. Uh, Does anybody remember Julia Styles? is like characters audition for Juilliard. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that, is that Save the Last Save Dance? The last dance <laughs> yeah. Where they try to the solve racism in one movie with the power of dance. And her her audition for Juilliard would not have gotten her into Juilliard. I can tell you that. <laughs> that wouldn't have gotten her like a lot of pointing. Oh, There's a yeah. chair that she like jumped over. Oh, like... 
I know yeah, no. Sabina watches a lot of random 90s movies just when she's like doing stuff. And I've walked in to save the last dance, and I think I remember seeing that and just being like, what the hell is going on <laughs> Juilliard. here? Juilliard. Juilliard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. And it just tells you your dreams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One point so at a time. time. <laughs> God, um, let's, let's come together, guys. I yes. prefer I prefer Bring It On to as my defeat racism movie. Oh, yeah. Bring, it, bring it On is is um it's it's iconic. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Bring know. It On, that guy directed Ant Man, which is a Marvel thing. Really? Yeah. Wow. Did he really? Yeah. Is it Adam McKay? No, uh, Peyton Adam? Reed. Oh, Peyton Reed. That's right. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he also amazing. directed the Mandalorian episode with Luke Skywalker. Oh my god. That was so good. That was really good. And you can tell because he started, he cut his talent. teeth on Bring It On. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring It On is like, yeah, that, that movie is like perfect. I mean, if he can that get Julia perfect. Stiles into Juilliard with that dance, yeah, he can do anything. He can bring back Luke Skywalker. I don't think he did that movie though. <laughs> I think if he made Save the Last Dance, he wouldn't have been oh, allowed a Marvel movie. Sorry, Save the Last Dance. <laughs> Save the Last Steps to the street. Whatever the kids are calling it. Um, let's talk some WandaVision. What? Yeah, let's do it. That oh was a God. good episode quattro. Oh, I was so happy. First of all, I just love in this one episode, we got connections to Thor, Ant-Man, uh, and Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really neat that we got a little bit of a... First of all, what was it? Uh, uh, was it Jimmy Woo? Jimmy Woo, I think, is the character's yeah. name. Okay. Well, I like when he showed up and he summoned his call, his like his card, like you know, like, like the card magic. trick. Yeah, I like this little nod at Ant Man. That was his name Randall Park, the actor. Yes, yeah. I big, love big it. fan of Randall Park. Yes, <laughs> Cat Dennings. Mm -hmm. Yep. But just that intro, like when it was starting, and there was just like the I didn't it didn't even like click in my brain first when like the weird particles are happening. I was like, oh, is she dreaming or something? And I was like, oh, wait a second. Yeah, people. <laughs> yeah, they're all coming open. back. Yeah. That that was crazy, especially in a hospital. Yep. Oh my god! When people are coming back, like in the chaos, like uh. I, you know, I was talking to, uh, I was saying this to Rob before we started. I would totally be down for shows that were set in the Marvel universe that weren't really about anybody, like popular, like like known heroes. Like just having people like coming back and not knowing what the fuck happened like how they came back like i would like i mean that could be a pilot for a show and like even if there wasn't marvel movies if people have are just fading back in into existence like where did they go it's been five years like that was crazy when she finds that doctor no no no. you just told me that yeah i just i love how they took like i remember when like the snap happened on the internet people were like or not the snap, the second, the second, the Hulk snap. When people were coming back online, everybody was just like, "What happens if you're on a plane?" And they were just saying all this crazy, how much chaos would be. And I love that they show that it was in fact chaos, and yes. like people running around the hospital, bouncing into people that just blooped into existence again, and then it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. I just thought that was such a great. I never even thought about that. What if you were on a plane and then you come back and you're just falling? <laughs> Oh That's my horrifying. god! Because it's not like the plane well, like, disappeared. I, the plane I know. was fine. Well, I feel like the 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 mind zone would be like like sentient enough to be like, okay, let me just put you. Yeah, the somewhere close, like, you know. And it, I would imagine it. Yeah. it it's like, it's like a yeah, well, I think it also depends on who the snapper is because if he's wishing for everybody to come back safe, then yeah, the you know the stones would would make it happen. So, I don't but know, I, I just, yeah, I just loved how within that like first few minutes it sets up so much like that entire character's like emotional arc and all that stuff and then when and it's I revealed the... that it's the little girl from captain marvel grown up i'm just like oh that's yeah. so good yeah and it's great because now that she's in it there's a potential for her to become an avenger mm -hmm. like in the comics like when like photon was one of her names she was a captain marvel at one point um yeah that was um yeah, that was great. And I like that her mom uh, played a role in, in creating a sword. Mm -hmm. I think that's really cool. It makes sense given everything that happened in Captain Marvel. So, yeah, loving that. Um, and uh, I was happy to see Kat. Is it Dennings or Dannings? I don't know. Uh, I, I was just happy to see her. 
uh, I just I, I like that she got her doctorate. I like that she's still kind of like a I don't know quirky. Yeah, like a goof, you know, <laughs> a, a likable goof. I just know? like seeing all the side characters, you know, just, just yeah. pulling it all together, you know. We haven't had a Marvel movie in so long. I'm just like, every time the episode starts, and you're like, dun 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 dun. Oh like, yeah, oh. I get so excited. I know. I'm like, I oh, this is the best. My fix. Yeah, the best. <laughs> but then even just like, the best, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> that was a spot on day for all that holy was, shit that really was Thank you. Thank I'm surprised they talented. waited till the fourth episode to kind of explain what the hell's going on um, yeah. not that I didn't I think love the first three episodes I think it's great though because it gives you cause like it would have been too distracting with like oh what episode are they on now like that would have been like it would have been too distracting to be like, wait, what is happening? I want to see that. So I'm kind of glad that they just gave us those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Separate. Yeah, it's nice to like just frame it. Frame yeah. it. So now the- well, and then when he, oh my God, when he, Vision comes back into the house. Oh yeah. And she sees him and has to look away because like, he's like. Zombie Vision. Fucking dead. Yeah. That was spooky that too. That was so spooky. He's like all gray and his like head's mm-hmm. caved in. Yeah, that was like some American Horror Story shit. I was like, oh my god. So is she just like animating like his like him. corpse? <laughs> oh, god. That's kind of what that it would be, sounded uh, like. Or, that would be fucking dark. That would be very dark. Although the whole but I, show, I mean, it's kind of dark. <laughs> it's got some dark. Well, I think that's what makes it so great because it's, it's like you know, happy go lucky, squeaky clean, and there is like this darkness kind of mm-hmm. seeping through. Um, I think. Well, I I, I don't know. Yeah. I, well, what's interesting is that you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, maybe she's dancing visions, mean puppet around, but, and that didn't sound right. But, you know what I mean? Like his his hey. corpse, you know, whatever. And um, but Vision is also capable of having independent thought to the point where he's challenging the illusion. You know, like, as at one point he starts saying, like, something's not right. And then it's like, and then it's like, it's like a, like a, another take. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I honestly hope that this gets us vision back because Paul pet, Paul Bettany's vision is like, um, I, I think it's one of the best comic book performances. Like as far as, like there are actors who embody the character so well that it feels like they were plots out of the comic book page like jk simmons and you know jay jonah jameson you know like i feel like it's up there with that like it's just such a good vision to the point now where i read avengers comics i'm hearing paul bettany's voice because for me i think it just it just fits that well so i hope i hope he comes back i mean it'd be crazy not to yeah i mean he's it's just such a fascinating super, character i mean just knowing what Scarlet Witch can do basically anything yeah um well in the <laughs> illusion too now that scarlet witch is being a real witch and you know kind of that 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 she's i mean the illusion i guess is that or they're alluding to that she's at the center of it's her who's doing all this yeah Mm -hmm. the one thing about that that seems kind of weird though is like the hydra commercials well i'm just i'm just wondering still how hydra's playing into it well i think it's a subconscious thing because if you think about a hydra played a role in her gaining her powers like strucker was involved with the experiments I don't know. I mean, maybe we'll get that. We'll get more of that explained. But that's that's sort of my 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 leaning. Um, also, I love the Hydra commercials. They can keep making. Those. They're so those good. Great. <laughs> yeah, and like in the Stark Industries toaster, and um, uh, yeah, I did like how in this episode too they kind of explained the other stuff that was going on in previous episodes. <clears throat> Excuse me, like the guy in the fucking the bees, mm-hmm. the beekeeper suit coming up from the the drain. Oh yeah, and that cord he was attached to turned into jump rope. Like, oh my god. It's just so good. I wasn't expecting to like it this much. I was like, this looks weird. I'm sure it'll be good. But it's... Uh... Yeah, I, I really had no idea what to expect. And after the first couple episodes, I was like, I'm not... Still don't know what to expect, but I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to do like a... Almost like a reverse House of M type thing where... Um... She just goes, yes, mutants now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe she'd be like you know what you guys wouldn't be so far up my ass if you all had powers <laughs> you just focus on your own shit yeah they're like that I inhuman show you wanted to make that didn't work let's make yeah. the X-Men <laughs> that was a crime against inhumanity sure. that, that never even aired an episode did it well they did that big That's IMAX a, release I think like the, the pilot, pilot was shown yeah. but I don't think they ever like showed it on TV I, 
uh, you know what was it? Inhumans. Oh God. Oh, it's on Disney Plus. That was bad. Yeah. I I, oh, that was bad. I was excited because they got that kid from Game it. of Thrones to be Maximus. Oh, um, so bad. So yeah, in Inhumans, I know there's not a whole lot of love for Inhumans, but I feel like. Listen, they made Guardians work. They made Ant Man work. There's no reason why Kevin Feige yeah, couldn't Disney make in the Inhumans work. I loved the Inhumans, like in the comics, until they tried to replace the X Men with the Inhumans. Oh yeah, that shit was like when they were just yeah. this weird family that would far. show up. Well, it's Black weird with all his wives. <laughs> yeah, well, it's weird because you know they were so they were trying so hard for them to replace mutants, and now they got the rights back because it's all under Disney. Now it's like, oh, that Inhuman thing didn't that was so bad like oh the terrigen mists are killing the mutants it was like i oh god i forgot what just, comic I, was the it the memory of it just death was it crap death of x or so was that the the comic that was when the cyclops died and, it, and it's such a lame death for the character too i remember we like <laughs> reviewed that or talked about it and i just we were all we were all upset there's been like, a lot of bad marvel people, comic events the past yeah, five years there, yeah, there there has been, and and that's sort of like the the kind of the bummer about like when I'm rereading X Men, um, and I'm like coming up on present stuff, and it's like uh, I'm not looking forward to rereading some of this. Like, um, yeah, there was a lot of like X Men character assassinations happening in the 2000s, like just, uh, like you know, like Charles Xavier, Cyclops. I mean, they just really, I mean, uh. It it, oh, yeah. it was terrible, man. They just like, just not good. Like, but then meanwhile, then you had the the Joss Whedon astonishing X Men, and that was like fantastic. That, that was, was awesome. Like, great. Grant X-Men Morrison's X Men was awesome. Weird, yeah, I, but awesome. It's we- <laughs> it's definitely weird, but they but there's a lot of things that um stood the test of time. Like a lot of the things he introduced into that book, like really stood the test of time. With that, I just still don't get Cat Beast. Yeah, I was never, I was never a huge fan of that. Well, design in all the comics, choice. they allude, they allude to him being like an ape, like big hands, big feet. I get him being a blue gorilla, which he kind of looks like sometimes recently. But it's like, oh yeah, he's like, oh, he's a beast, big hands and feet. Now he's covered in hair, cat. <laughs> it's like, why was that the next fucking step? I don't know, but the di- and I wonder where the where the diamond mutation came from because that never came up until Grant Morrison. It's like you know, what would be good for a telepath. She was like a diamond. <laughs> that makes sense. I should reread that. I mean, it's 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 yes. it's in- was that is that was that when they first introduced secondary yeah. mutations? In the mm-hmm. I just remember because it came right after yeah. like so what is it, Eve of Extinction. Um, yeah, because it was the whole like there was like there was like that uh, apocalypse the twelve storyline mm-hmm. Cyclops and Apocalypse uh, they joined and then he, yeah yeah then he died and then um, yeah then they yeah then they came I feel back like and, and, Eve of Extinction is like the peak of like nineties X Men and then I feel like with one episode it's switched into this weird two thousands X Men with Grant Morrison. Well, it was so weird because especially when like you know they kept having all these illusions about like well. How much of Scott Summers do we have back after him merging with Insavener? Like, is he like, like, can someone be that close to the darkness and not and not come back so, like kind of tainted in some way? And then, then it, like, it's like, oh yeah, like we're gonna. I mean, like, yeah, what's gonna happen to Scott? Marriage counseling. It's like <laughs> really. I mean, you could have done a lot of cool stuff. And in some ways, it makes sense if it was like a slow character more from when he comes back, and then you know he's kind of more aggressive but there's a lot of missed opportunities you know it's just like scott and gene being like he hasn't been the same since the pack of those he won't touch me <laughs> and then like gene died again and i was like you know what i'm okay with it this time because she was annoying in that like series <laughs> yes, that's right <laughs> i did but um but yeah but i i think um I mean, I am just excited to see where WandaVision goes. There, I, I won't get into it, but there were apparently some major leaks about episodes five and six of WandaVision. So much leakage that um, th- there's a chance we might get two episodes this Friday, just to kind of get ahead of... Because um, um, 
Because they released sucks. a mid-season trailer, and everyone's like, wait, mid-season? There's only been, like, four episodes out. But I think there's only eight episodes, so I don't know what people are complaining about. That would be exactly mid-season. But, yeah, so there was some leaked footage. Um, and, of course, it's nowhere to be found. Well, like, the footage has been taken down off YouTube, but I've seen stills. Because, you know me, I had a look. I, 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 I'm I okay with spoilers. Um, and I saw, I saw some things, and... Um, uh, I hope we don't have to. I hope we don't have to wait, and I'll be dying to talk to you guys about it. I mean, when Harry Potter. Sh- oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm very excited, but I'm gonna. I'll try to be strong. Try not to. Yeah. I'll try to only watch the official releases of things. Yeah. But <clears throat> did you see the? What I think it was trading cards that show the like Baron Zemo costume. Oh And yeah. the U.S. agent. Yeah, I think the U.S. agent costume is cool. I don't like the dude's face in it. Maybe because it's just not Chris Evans. Yeah, well, it's, but he also doesn't strike me as a um, U.S. agent either. It's what's his name? It's R- Wyatt Russell. It's Kurt Russell's son. Yeah, he gets a pass because he is the offspring of Kurt. That Russell. is true. Um, yeah, when I saw it, I was like, "That's not Cap." Good yeah. stuff. <laughs> that, I feel like that's how you're supposed to feel with the U.S. agent the whole time. You just be like, "Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I just yeah. don't like this guy." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great value brand, yeah. Cap. Um, but I love uh, Falcon suit. Um, a Winter Soldier got his hair did. And I finally got a haircut. Um, you finally got a haircut. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see these two work together, uh, especially because they just don't really like each other, or, or they stand each other. Or no, not stand. They um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the kids are calling. You know, they're just they rivals like for yeah. for Cap's love. Yeah, now Cap's gone. Now it's just those Same two. to fill that void um, somehow. Yeah, I'm just excited for Falcon and Winter Soldier doing like espionage stuff. Yep, and I love that I Baron li- Zemo has a mask again. Yes, and I like yeah. that. I think this will be good after WandaVision because WandaVision is so like kind of fantastical and reality bending. Where, from what I've read about, you know, Falcon Winter Soldier is that it's so, for comic books, it's pretty grounded in reality. So well, we have Loki in cool. between the two. I think. Really, I think okay, I cool. on, I looked it up earlier today. I think it. <laughs> I think yeah. it goes one division. I'm, I'm excited for Loki, and then I think yeah, Loki comes out in May, and uh, Winter Soldier comes out in August. So we'll have like a what is that? One division ends like at the end of February. We'll yeah. have two months with nothing. Fuck. What's the point of having a show if you're gonna have gaps like that? <laughs> I need something. The Mandalorian ended, and then WandaVision started, and I just keep feeding yeah. me something. Give me premiere television. Is one what if, another. Is what if starting? What? Or is what if, when is oh, what yeah, if starting? Oh there. yeah, what if that looks really good too? I like Winter Soldier Cap fighting. It just says twenty twenty one Cap. Oh. And then, well, yeah, I don't know, but I love the idea of like the Watcher being uh, kind of like the narrator and. Um, I, I, I'm really excited for, to see Peggy get the super soldier. And I love that it's the movie cast. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, people were really naysaying the Disney thing, but I knew, I knew this was going to be a good thing because Disney money, (laughs) especially the fact that like, I remember even like Disney plus when it first launched people like, "Eh." and then as soon as like Mandalorian came out, people like, all right, all right, I'm in. (laughs) (laughs) I said it before and I'll say it again. Mandalorian, it doesn't deserve to be that good. Like it, it's just it's stupid how good it is. But like, if this, like, that was like they set the benchmark now for Disney Plus shows like this. Like, yeah. if this is the like, yeah, I mean, I could stay at home and watch TV all the time if this is what you're yeah. feeding me. <laughs> I mean, you look at that and then you look at like Agents of Shield and it's like oh. I could never like I watched the first episode of Agents of Shield and I was just like I cannot. I can't. I forced myself and occasionally I'm I would find something amusing like oh Samuel Jackson's in this or they're referencing the events in Winter Soldier but it, it just like was not enough to like No, I think I made it through like the, the first 8 episodes and that was about it. Yeah, even then it was like ugh, god it was tough. And like I love the tough. Netflix shows too, but they just they were good in like a different way. Daredevil I think was the only one that was consistent. Mm-hmm. Um it did dip a little bit i feel like in the third season yeah but it was a little too long i feel like that's the problem with a lot of the shows i thought jessica jones actually no that's not true jessica jones was solid for both seasons i thought 
Luke Cage was the weakest. Iron Fist was the weakest. Well, no, oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> Iron Fist, I wasn't, I, I don't even include Iron Fist because it's just, it was such crap. I was so disappointed. It was such crap, but I feel like, yeah, so Iron Fist is not included in my list because it doesn't exist. I still love um, that in the Defenders, Iron Fist is just like, inhabits this like ancient power and then he still just gets his ass kicked by Daredevil, just this blind dude who boxes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was just ugh, gross. Yeah. It was gross. It was just gross. Iron Fist. They they could have done a lot, but they didn't. They yeah, like yeah, yeah. And I felt like I felt like yeah. I, I just ugh. Shang Chi. Like it punches. I, feel like, like, cast it up I just looked it up. Like Shang Chi <laughs> comes out on my birthday this year, apparently. And that Ooh. I feel like could capture a lot of the like well, the vibe yeah. of Iron Fist that well, was not captured in Iron Fist. Are they gonna do a theatrical release or are they gonna do a Disney Plus? Because we've been waiting on Black Widow for like a year now. Um So it was rescheduled from May to July. I don't understand why they don't what? just release Black Widow. Black Widow I mean from what I'm looking at, Black Widow says May twenty twenty one. I don't know what that okay. means. I mean okay. so I mean, maybe if the world gets its vaccine shit together, maybe July's yeah. not so far fetched. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I don't know. I got a funny <laughs> feeling it'll, it'll, I, I, it'll get wrapped up by fall, I feel like is when a good chunk of people yeah. can be it. But or who knows? Movie theaters who knows? will be open again. Don't listen movie to theaters are Quote still Rob, open in Massachusetts. You could, I could go to a movie right now. I don't want to, but I could. Yeah. But. Yeah, Shang Chi. I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to the Eternals. Mm -hmm. That comes out. Um, I, wait, yeah. what? That's not right. These are wrong we dates. We were gonna have that. Oh, that was the we original have... date. That was originally yeah. supposed to come out next week. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and and well, and the Marvel Legends toy line. They made an an Eternals wave, which of course you know got leaked, and they were all online, so you could see all the costumes. But yeah, but those are gonna be released by now in time for the movie. And uh, yeah, got pushed back. And, uh, I just I don't know, but Disney's got to do the Disney Plus thing for Black Widow. Like, stop! Just give. I'll pay fifty bucks. Just let me Seriously. watch that movie, please. Yeah. Well, I mean, like they like uh, HBO Max did with Wonder Woman. Like, yeah. Just don't make it Wonder Woman. <laughs> yes, please, please don't make it. Wonder Woman. <laughs> um, I feel like that movie gets more hate than it should. Mm -hmm. Like, it wasn't great. Definitely not. It wasn't that bad. It was disappointing. I, I I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I mean, but there were I, I okay. Wonder Woman. I don't think here's my problem with Wonder Woman. I I it, it there was a lot of great things going on there, but there were some cringy moments, yes. and I don't like cringe in my movie, especially when with when they're in the middle. East and the guys like, oh, I wish I had nuclear weapons. It's like, oh my god, are you kidding me? And still, are you and still me? the weird? I'll, I'll never love again. Steve Trevor stealing a dude's body thing. Quant kind of. Yeah, quantum leap. Yeah, and then like, <sighs> but he, she like, I guess they just like had sex with that poor guy's body. Yeah, and he had no at least like leaping. let him get in on it no midway consent. through. No like, <laughs> yeah, no consent whatsoever. Um, and that guy like just fucking waking up, but like the world's falling apart, and he's but like, there were like a lot sex? of there were a lot of things mm -hmm. that I thought were definitely I think appropriate and and timely, and like um, I think the big the biggest thing was uh um what well, what's the character Maxwell mm -hmm. whatever oh, Max Lord Max Lord yeah his whole idea of um of success and was was completely revolved around whiteness yeah and he was whitewashing himself and whitewashing <clears throat> himself i think that's like a really that's a really important discussion that i did i, I we're having I, culturally yeah. right now and and our, our obsession with like greed and money and and yeah, and I yeah I did like that. I remember you pointed that. I remember you had to pause the movie when you were telling about it. And I and I did appreciate that. And I also did appreciate a comic book villain who wasn't in costume. 
and wasn't like well and i also i liked too talking because they were talking about yeah like obviously success and it's um connection to whiteness Mm -hmm. but also they were talking about toxic positivity and the whole i think law of attraction craze and how people are like oh like we just want what we want and getting our wishes like immediately without thinking being careful what you wish for or really thinking about what you have Mm -hmm. and um and i just yeah i just thought that was that was i think that movie just needed a really good editor both on the script and the movie itself Mm. Yeah, because there are lots of good ideas in there. (laughs) But I feel like Patty Jenkins, I had the problem with in the first Wonder Woman 2, was the, um, I feel like the third act is always the weakest, and I feel like this suffered a very similar issue. For sure. This one just dragged uh, for me, more so than the first one. And I'm kind of tired of having, like, secondary villains that are literally just different versions of um jim carrey's riddler like yeah. like i you know what i mean like i'm i'm, t- I'm, I'm really tired of seeing that like this is like I, the third one i can think of off the top of my head that we have like like you have the opportunity to do something different and i'm just getting a different version yeah you, you like you get like the earnest um you know like awkward brilliant you know character who you know um uh, like in obtaining that confidence and popularity they want they've like sacrificed a a piece of themselves to become like a total asshole yeah and even having glasses yeah like the whole the whole look i mean the 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 down to the very like aesthetic of them before they get their cool powers and they're like hey you can't take jacket you can't take my coolness away from me like you know they should make i i just don't need that they should make a dark knight returns but set in Batman Forever, Batman. <laughs> Get Val Kilmer now <laughs> to play oh, old Bruce Val. Wayne. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I did I I thought I pitched you guys my idea. This is welcome, I think your idea is Welcome really back good. to if Paul writes or Paul directs, I'm still working on the title. But here is the <laughs> gist, right? It's legit. You get Jim Carrey being released from Arkham Asylum, you know, and he's made a complete about face turn around embraced his reality but when he gets released from arkham he doesn't come back to the joel schumacher gotham no 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 he gets released to the tim burton gotham and he's like wait a minute this was not my bright shiny gotham what the fuck is this you know and like and in and, and looking at bruce wayne that's not bruce that was some weird dude with pointy eyebrows like that's not the you know like it and and so and then like his quest the ultimate riddle was what happened to gotham and and you'd have like old man michael keaton you know mm. not old but like older bruce wayne maybe even retired but he's got you know the the batlings underneath like the couple of different robins and bat chicks bat dog bat cow do what you want that's the movie like i want to make it yeah everyone's like what is he talking about what happened to gotham that's i think that would be a cool movie i mean dz and my, everybody's doing these crazy multiverse nonsense things now it's i mean we're probably gonna see toby Maguire and andrew garfield in a marvel movie like oh well they already <laughs> i know no, it's, i mean it's wild <laughs> Listen, next as Spider-Man. long as we get Charlie Cox's Daredevil. <laughs> oh that's all God, I want. I that's all I want. I know. That's More so than anything. True. Like, I mean, if, if we get Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, whatever. Great. You know, I mean, it's cool they're, they're bringing back their villains. Like, you know, uh, Doc Ock is coming back and Jim Carrey's Electro uh, is going to be in Not it. Not Jim Carrey. Well, that was a joke. It was, it was actually not to what um. you were saying about <laughs> You know, because he had the, he had the glasses God and he was a nerd, like, and he was, was like, bush he, he, <laughs> remember he was like a fan. He had, he worships Spider Man like I like, never like saw the Amazing Spider Man two. Oh, it's rough. I know that's why I haven't seen it. <laughs> it is rough. What was in in Norman Osborn like? You find out that like it's not they don't go crazy because of like uh, a science experiment. It's some hereditary green disease. <laughs> I'm not even shooting it, like the green disease. I don't know. It's like so someday, nothing son, was, nothing you're gonna grow up. Spider-Man you're gonna get three, green so. hair in funny places. I just remember watching Amazing Spider-Man one with Andrew Garfield and being like, "This is literally the same movie as Sam Raimi's Spider-Man with a different actor." And, and I thought <laughs> Andrew worse. Garfield was too cool. 
way too he, yeah. he was too cool for Peter Parker. He was a great Spider-Man, like I thought. He was a good Spider-Man, but yeah, he's, he was too cool. Fucking skateboard. Yeah. This that was a problem. Toby McGuire, great Peter Parker. Not a great Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield, great Spider-Man. Not a great Peter Parker. Like, I don't feel sorry for this kid. I don't buy that he's a nerd. You know, he's like, oh, I got my, I got my bedhead hair, <laughs> my camera, my skateboard, and my, oh, my parents are dead. <laughs> You know, mm-hmm. I like I like I skateboard in a garage, listen to Coldplay, <laughs> <laughs> which was a thing he did. Yeah, no, it was just not. It yeah, was, it was just not. Yeah. Not. Well, yeah. also, there's a Wakanda TV show coming apparently. Mm, yes. Speaking I'm of that as well, Disney Plus constantly churning out content. I'm a okay with it. Is long, yeah. If it's that, if it's that grade A quality, you bet I'll be there. But so, yeah, the Bay watch I wonder. I wonder if they. It almost would make sense if they did it before Black Panther two, because then they could take their time to kind of build out what they how they want to move forward. Yeah, I do think it's cool that they're not going to recast T'Challa. I, I I just I mean like it just it just it can't be done even if you wanted to. Well, I think it can, just not right now. I think I think we just need a little more time. Maybe. I mean, ten years from now, maybe. It's crazy to think that in ten years from now, the MCU might. It's still most likely just going to be churning the same timeline. Listen, I want to be in a retirement home, being like somebody better fucking take me to a movie theater. I need to see Avengers twenty three. I want to see like old ass fucking like Robert Downey Jr. making another cameo, <laughs> and they're still like just CGing his face mm-hmm. to make him look young. I want that yeah, shit. Just, I like, want that Iron shit. Man like, suit is like an years. iron wheelchair. It's just like a little motorized. Like, yeah, red like and I young. want that. shit. But it's like yeah. it's already to the point where like it's there's what twenty. Four movies? Oh my god. And a handful of TV shows. So think another ten years. There's gonna be like it's gonna be like the length of like a pretty good comic book series run. It's gonna be <laughs> like, like it's gonna be like the soap barber days of our lives, season forty five. Like it's just gonna yeah, be like I'm the okay ongoing, with that. Yeah. But then as like, long as it, if it's anything like it is now, then shit, keep it coming. Yeah, I'll be just talking to my grandkids and just be like, Maybe. yeah. So basically, back in two thousand eight, you know, forty eight years ago, there was yeah. this Iron Man <laughs> yeah. came out and it was crazy. We're all gonna be talking to Rob's grandkids. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. <laughs> They'll say but even still, show. like uh, by the time Max. Once there's like of age to start watching Marvel movies, there'll be thirty goddamn movies we have to catch up on, and we'll we'll catch up on them. But <laughs> yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> excuse to watch um, them again. Also, that picture from Thor: Love and Thunder uh, is giving me life, like fucking Thor and Star Lord. And dude, Thor's outfit. First of all, did anybody catch the pants and the boots are just like the fucking kirby illustration like it's like the blue pants with the yellow wrapped stri- the yeah boots. wrapped boots and he's got that like that pink leather vest oh my god i didn't look close enough let me let me investigate Whoa. single yeah. word oh my god yeah him hanging out with star lore and i love that the other um the other guardians were spotted on set like nebula so they got a picture of her on set and uh james gunn's brother the as guardians of the galaxy I don't know why they didn't call it as Guardians of the Galaxy, but <laughs> I'm down with Love and Thunder. That's just like, <laughs> yeah. And Taika Waititi is like directing it again, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All is right in the I'll world. I'll see anything then. that like man it. has his hands on. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. I still can't believe how good Thor Ragnarok was. I want like I also want Kate Blanchett to come back somehow. Yeah. Also, is that crazy fucking Christian Bale is gonna be the villain? For Thor, Love and Thunder. Yeah, he's, he's playing, playing Gore. The God Goro? Is that not Gore? That's from Mortal Kombat. Gore. It's going to be kind of amazing, though, because right. Christian Bale, I mean, you could say what you, anybody could say what they want about him, but, like, he's a good fucking actor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He can do he anything. Can do, and, and he no, will. Fuck, no. He will try to do everything. And that's, like, I, his body must be trash right now with the amount of, like, times he's lost weight, gained weight, oh lost my weight. God. His body must just be, like, the, his insides just can't function anymore but yeah his endocrine he's system is just like spitting acid out <laughs> yeah he's just he's a he shifter. is just but you know what I'm like, i hope he does they do like he full makeup it. like i don't even want to know that's christian bill like yeah. the, oh, the weird it. noseless green 
frail little gore guy. Yeah, just as long as he's not doing the Batman voice again. Do you think they're gonna have uh what is it, space whales or space sharks? Remember when he's on like the that space cool. boat and there's like space yeah. sharks? I'm like, I mean, I want that. I mean, I, let's do it. I mean, and, and just the <laughs> fact that we got Natalie Portman coming back mm. and being four, that is fucking great, man. I think that is just so good. I mean, just mm, good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I love it. No, because I loved Lady Thor. And in in the books, I mean, I think the whole, you know, Mjolnir being on the moon and why Thor became, you know, not um, not worthy anymore. I thought that was kind of whack. But the idea of like just her being worthy and like, yeah, and like Odin doesn't know what to do with her. Like that's she's not worthy. Well, why is just the hammer? I don't know, but I'm <laughs> Odin. Get her out of here. Like it was great. I loved it. I yeah, loved yeah. all of it. Yeah, I um, need to finish Jason Aaron's like epic they need to release his whole thor run in like a giant leather tome <laughs> the ultimate even though it's been this. going on since well like 2015 there's probably like 500 oh issues God. yeah i mean we were living in boston when he started writing that oh man so, that yeah, first the god killer arc is like oh it it's is so good so goddamn good and with the east side ribic art it's just like yeah no it's still it, it, it it's a great book and uh, yeah and i love the idea of like past present and future thor mm-hmm. like i just thought and i love that and that keeps coming back in the series too uh which is so great like thor and his granddaughters and uh yeah it is just a really good time definitely check out uh yeah the jason aaron stuff uh for thor so good so good we were gonna talk about gamestop weren't we yeah at this point i feel like <laughs> everybody knows okay. sorry chandler <laughs> okay. next time We'll talk about money next time. <laughs> I'm still wrapping my head around what the hell's going on with GameStop. I know, like, uh, like rudimentary, like, I could draw it out in crayon. <laughs> like, uh, It's not super complex. It's just, like, um, a bunch of hedge funder people, like, bet against GameStop and wanted them to fail. But then, like, someone really smart saw the data and discovered that, like, um, in betting against GameStop, they took out more than they were. They took out more shares than that they had to pay back later. And I'm someone kind of caught that, so he kind of like told everyone on Reddit to like buy GameStop, and now the hedge fund have you seen can't buy enough shares back to cover have you their seen asses. the picture of that guy? On um, no, no, the guy that you're talking about, the one who got on Wall Street bets. Oh, <laughs> oh my you. god, <laughs> he looks exactly like the way you think he would. I'm I'm, I'm picturing the the <laughs> aliens guy from um no he's like aliens. i think he's like a 30 year old no. from massachusetts i think he like lives in like yeah like a basement in like boston and oh he God. has like and i was like a multi-millionaire and he has like sweatbands <laughs> like he has got like, a head sweatband and wrist sweatbands <laughs> like, yeah he so just ready. looks Redditor, like it's sure. like amazing like, what he looks just like yeah. the way you think he would the kind of person that would po- wear like a meme t-shirt <laughs> i'm gonna laugh if i know this person it's possible Incredible. he's like our age and from Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Wall Street bets right now, but it's like flooded That's crazy. right now. Cut crazy. But yeah, all the Wednesdays in January are really intense. Like Capital <laughs> riots, new president, GameStop. Funny stuff, but it's funny though. Like the whole like GameStop thing. It's just like the one thing that like the entire political spectrum is just like, yeah, fuck hedge funds. Like, <laughs> Ted yeah, Cruz, seriously. like, retweeted AOC and was like, yeah, fuck these guys. And I'm like, Ted Cruz and AOC agreeing? What the fuck is going yeah, on in the AOC's world? AOC's like, you tried to have me fuck it. You almost had me murdered a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Take a seat. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Yeah, this is a lot of justice yeah. boners yeah. going on. Yeah. With the whole game stuff justice, thing. Justice, justice boners. But yeah, yeah, shout out to anybody who made a shit ton of money it. off of it. Yep, so regular dude and his <laughs> gamer chair and his multiple screens. God, that without revealing what I do or where I work, but it made my life a living hell. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, like systems were crashing, and it wasn't just us. It was like a lot of trading platforms. It was intense to say the least it was it was it was rough it was uh 
Yeah, I do a lot of soul searching that day. Like, I don't know how much longer I want to keep doing this. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. But at the same time, fuck the hedgehog. Exactly. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Um, yeah, really just crazy, man. Craziness. It's so funny, too, because. I guess from what I understand too, GameStop is like still like hurting. It's not like they're going to be opening up like new stores and new locations. So like GameStop still was, no. they were like restructuring their whole company and like a new dude bought a bunch of um, control over the company basically. But like they weren't, they were not making as much money, but they weren't hurt. Like I don't think they were like short on money. Like they weren't going to go bankrupt. Yeah. So I think that's why the initial people invested and then they're just like, then the, then the Reddit nonsense happened. And I was just on the sidelines, like, what the, what's going on here? I'm definitely not going to waste my money doing this, but I'll watch you all do it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> watch them all crash and burn. Oh, man, that would be, yeah. If it happened, like, it's four just, years just... ago, back when I first downloaded Robin Hood, and I was just, like, basically gambling on my phone every day, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I probably would have got down with it, yeah. but. Yeah. Yeah. Just reminds me Scary. of an episode of, uh, Undeclared, uh, the the follow up from Joss. No, I almost said Joss Whedon. What's his name? The Freaks and Geeks guy who made all them movies. Judd Apatow. Oh, Judd Apatow. Yeah, you ever see that, movie, that show? It was like his follow up to Freaks and Geeks. Uh, Seth Rogen was in it, and Jay Baruchel. They go to college. It's a pretty okay right. show. Anyway, there's an episode where <laughs> Seth Rogen gets really into trading on the <laughs> internet, and this isn't like 2000, so it's on like some oh, old dial up thing. But yeah, he makes a lot of money. Then they lose it all. That's that was the the yeah. sad plot. That but. was that was the episode. <laughs> a very special episode. A very special episode of Dawson. <laughs> Good. Um. Yeah. What a week. Wild what wild times. I just mm-hmm. I don't want that gap in Disney Plus. I guess is my takeaway from this whole discussion. Right. Yeah. Take it. If you take anything away from this. Let's. It, I, there's, I wonder if there's like a star. I don't think there's a Star Wars show in there. There's got to be. I need. I need something in that two months. Yeah. I'm fine for that. Watch, watch Clone Wars. I, I've kind. I found like a list of things to watch. Like the, the order that's the best way to watch it. It's just I don't love the animation of the Clone Wars. I've watched I mean, like 10, 15 episodes of it here and there, but. What I think is cool is that they've embraced those shows. They're not like <clears throat> wiping under the table that the fact that they're taking like, um, you know, characters and events and putting it in Mandalorian, I think is just really cool. I think that's really cool that they're doing that. Um, yeah. So, There's a, let me see. Wait a second. This article says Falcon and the Winter Soldier is coming out in March. Oh. Which if that's the case, I'm good. <laughs> that was it the first one I saw was just a Google thing that said, "Yeah." But was, but this is Screen Rant, which seems like that's a pretty big website. I feel like they probably do their reporting. The Monsters Inc. TV show comes out the first half of this There's year. A Monsters Inc. Oh. TV show. Yeah, wow. the Mighty Lovely. Ducks Game Changers. Oh, yeah, I heard about. I heard about that. So live out. action. Yeah, I watched D two the Mighty Ducks the other night. <laughs> <laughs> So. <laughs> that is great. Where I was like, I don't have time to watch shows or movies, but I will. I was time like, for D2 I was like, deliriously tired, and I was like, I'm gonna put this on, and then I watched the entire movie. There's <laughs> baby Keenan Thompson looking adorable as like a 12 year old doing the knuckle puck. Uh, Foggy Nelson, that actor, is like the the tough yeah. guy, and he has like slick back black hair. There's. It's so funny. So I watched the movie all the time as a kid. And as a kid, I was like, the coach, Gordon Bombay, he's like an old man. My camera disappeared. (laughs) But anyway. um, (laughs) So Rob lost power. You you just see like two white eyes blinking in the dark. What I was, I just remember Gordon Bombay seeming like the oldest old man. And now watching it as an adult, I'm like, oh, he's probably younger than I am in this movie. (laughs) Because like at the beginning, he's trying to, um, battery existed <laughs> apparently but the, wait there's craziness at nah, whatever anyway yeah at the beginning he's like trying to be in the nhl again i'm like you can't be in the nhl if you're an old man he's probably like 25 holds up though if you're in the mood for a, a really dumb 90s sports comedy for children 
<laughs> we've got the movie for you. Yeah. Um, but does it, it does make me want to ask you guys what you've been reading this week or what you've been watching or you know what's been you know what you've been into other than WandaVision. Um, I've been reading a really cool book called The uh, War of Art, Ooh. and it's this about it's basically about like um just getting through like creative blocks or writers blocks or things like that, and um they kind of characterize like um it kind of centers around the like how the thing that's get creating the writer's block is this you know concept called resistance, and like um he kind of like goes in depth and kind of explains all the different like ways that it affects you and how you can kind of get over it, and it's awesome. I like it. Cool. Very motivating. Let's we'll check that out. That is very cool. Yeah. I've been reading, like, a lot of, like, really intense stuff. Like, I read, um, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Brace yourself, Buckle guys. Up. Buckle up. Um, so I read this, uh, really interesting, um, it, well, it's an audible thing, and it's called The Last Days of August, and it's about, it's by John Ronson, and it follows um, kind of the story about this porn star who committed suicide. Damn. And you don't know if it's like, if her boyfriend at the time, or her husband at the time did it, or if it was because of this like online bullying campaign on Twitter. Yeah, really fucking good. Really, really good. Um, and then I was like listening to like a lot of like race relation stuff, like... Um, I recently listened to uh, You'll Never Believe What Happened to Lacey, the one by Amber Ruffin, mm. the comedian who writes for, like, um, uh, The Late Show with Seth Meyers. And she wrote, her and her sister, like, co-wrote this book together about all, like, the crazy racist stuff that happens to her sister in um, Omaha, Nebraska, which is really good. And then um, in my stupid stuff that I read, like, I found out about Logert, which is like a fan fiction for Kurt and Logan. And I don't like it. (laughs) (laughs) I try, like the idea is like, oh, that could be really interesting. But I read like four, like, I read like little four stories and I was like, this is, this is, I don't like this. It's too like borderline on furry. Yeah. And it's like it's very the writing's not as good as yeah. like like the stony stuff Stucky. or the stucky stuff or <laughs> like yeah even the the um the one with um Professor X and uh, Magneto. Magneto that stuff is usually really well written too but yeah the Logert stuff is not well written <laughs> it's just smutty oh, and God. weird. And I want to like it. I do. Because it's like, oh, it can be really cool. And it's just the, the execution, though. Woof. Yeah. No bueno. Yeah. Yeah, Someone so that's, right. that's <laughs> my nonsense. Dead porn stars. And yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've also just... Racism in America and fan fiction. <laughs> I've also just been reading a book. Uh, I think I said last week I've been like obsessed with the Expanse books since last year. So I finished the sixth one last week and now I've jumped into the seventh one. And yeah, like I've I've said it and I'll say it again. If anybody wants some good ass sci-fi, got to read the Expanse. TV show is real good too, but the books... Yeah. Real good. Real yeah, good. I've heard, I've heard really good right. things. Their page both. turners just can't. I literally, I'm on the seventh book in like a couple months. I just can't, can't Jeez. stop, won't stop. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's really good. So there's like, it takes place mostly in the like our solar system and there's like an extraterrestrial element to it, but it's all very grounded in like somewhat real science. So it's like, it's just really interesting. And the seventh book basically jumps into the future 28 years or something from the last book. So it's like a whole whole fresh new thing. And I'm I'm going to keep reading this. That's cool. But I ordered uh, Dark Tower, the first book. So oh. I'm going to read that next. And then we'll have to do a book club. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fire up my candle. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so excited. Like I said... <clears throat> the first book is short, it's like 300 pages. Yeah. You know, uh, I did the audible. That's that what too. sold me. When there's so many books where I'm just like, especially Stephen King books, when I'm just like, oh, that's 800 pages. Yeah. Maybe. But when you're like, oh, it's 300 pages, I'm like, oh, sure, let's do it. 
even though yeah. like I've read, I don't know, 4,000 pages of The Expanse in a couple months, like I could totally read a big book, but just knowing it's 300 pages is just like, it's like a 90 well, minute movie. Like that, yeah. You know, it's just like, yeah, like it's not that big of an investment of time, you know, and then if you like it, great. If you don't, then, you know, you, you, you gave it a fair shake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that does make me excited. Uh, I, um, started watching Lost in Space on Netflix and I have heard uh, not so great things about it and maybe because my expectations were so low that uh, I like it. I also This like one that came out of, like what three two years ago? Yeah and the final season comes out sometime next well, year. The that sold me about it was Parker Posey. I was just about to say Parker Posey is in it and what's great is that her. Parker Posey plays Dr. Smith which is usually, you know, um, uh, that's a man's part. But um, she's really good, and uh, I kind of like what they're doing with her character. Because in the show, like Dr. I don't know how familiar you guys are with the show, but Dr. Smith was like a spy, like working for some nation. And, you know, kind of like really calculated and, you know. But Parker Posey is like, I don't know what the fuck her deal is. She's like a psychopath pretending to be. Like she stole somebody's identity like her real name isn't dr smith that's like each episode i'm finding out more shit about her i'm like this bitch is crazy she is pretty cray and it's great it's a cool, it's a cool i thought dynamic. i remember when i saw the trailer for it i was like visually this looks super cool like it looked like it had like a nice production value to it it definitely does it definitely that's actually the most consistent thing i've heard even people who like uh i didn't like the, the pacing of the story but it looked great like and I, and I do like that the the designs like it's science fiction but it's i feel like it's um like it's realistic you know like like you know i mean like the ships look like that they're from nasa you know it it, it looks very functional and not whatever the 90s movie of lost in space was mm-hmm. Just, yeah weird shapes and spiky hair yeah that's one of those those like old sci-fi staples that i know nothing about i went back i I mean i I was gonna say last year i went back and i read hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy because i also knew nothing about that that's a fucking weird ass book and when i remember that they made a movie about it how the hell do they make a movie out of this but with alan rickman yeah and like uh sam rockwell in that Sam oh, yeah. Rockwell. Mm-hmm. I actually liked the movie. Yeah, you had Sam Rockwell. I kind of want to see you it. Got fucking I n- Martin Freeman. Yeah, soul cast. Isn't Zoe Deschanel in that too? Oh shit, she is in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's not a bad movie. I, I, uh, it's a shame they didn't do, they didn't do any sequels. Uh, Most Death is in mm-hmm. it. Um, yeah, I I'm liking that movie too, but I don't know. It's recently come to my attention that I might not have the best taste in stories. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. But Lost in Space was cool, though. Well, long as you yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. but Lost in Space is cool, and I'm trying to think what else I've been uh, checking out. Um, it's like you hear Domino, like, chunk of my <laughs> toy. Sorry. I know. Um, uh, just a lot of uh, Spider-Man. I'm reading Sp- Amazing Spider-Man and Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man. Um, I'm, at, I'm at the tail end of the 70s now. So I'm about to get into the to the 80s. Nice. It's, uh, it's, it's just hilarious. Um, you know, just like, the, just like the styles and what everybody's doing. Like Flash Thompson, like, coming back from the Vietnam War. Um, and, um, yeah, just all like the cultural references that are going on and, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's fun. It's campy and it's kind of cool just to see the introduction of some of these characters and, um, you know, like kind of reading about like the death of Gwen Stacy and the context, you know, the events leading up to and after and, um, see, it's a lot of fun. The Marvel Unlimited app is great. Um. Also, the new DC Infinity app, that's really good, too. That's very similar to the Marvel Unlimited app. So, And they got a shit ton of stuff. Like, you can read, like, the OG, like, Superman, Batman stuff. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it's really good. So um, if you're looking to dive into comics and don't know how, those two apps are a pretty, pretty good way to start. Definitely worth the uh, uh, the price. You can pay monthly or yearly. Uh, I pay the yearly. Just get it, get it done at one painful Payment. I always did it because I always forgot to cancel it because I paid yearly. 
And then I'd be like, what the <laughs> fuck is this $60 charge to Marvel? <laughs> I'm like, well, I guess so I'll good. cancel it next year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, but honestly, though, like, the, I like use that app every day, and that's why I don't have any problem. Oh no, paying it's that much totally I, worth like, it. Get so much. I would spend out of that it. much money on comic library. books in a day if I went to the comic book yeah. store. Like, <laughs> right? Yeah. Also, I love the box that you get every year. I never got that. Oh they man, must, you I must. Like it. They, I must have canceled. I canceled mine like a year or two ago. So did they just start doing that? No, they started doing that. Um, I was a subscriber for like two to three years, and I never got a box. Man, it was great. Yeah. Oh, dude, I like save. I like save all mine because you get these really cool patches. <laughs> Sorry, I just like caught myself. Like it was really cool because you get like the Wakandan flag, and you get like an X Men and a Fantastic Four, and you get like a figure. Like I got Punisher Venom one year, which is like Venom, <laughs> but on Punisher, and the Venom symbol has a skull in it. It's great. Um, uh, what was another one? Uh, I, I got a purple Deadpool. I don't know why it was purple, but who gives a shit? Because it was cool. Um, yeah, it's great. It's it's fun. <laughs> it's just yeah, it's just so good. Can't um uh, promote it enough. And th- and and that's what's helped me to take on this X Men Spider Man journey. It's like oh, they got all the issues. Why not? Yeah, I'll become a I'll become a scholar <laughs> in the comics. I read a lot of weird shit. On Marvel Unlimited. I was like, oh, what's that thing? And then you just look it up and you're like, oh, I'm just going to read a bunch of yeah, weird stuff from the 80s. And it was always the 80s. Yep. I read a lot of comics from the 80s. Dude, <laughs> what's funny is that some of the origin stories, like, I want to read the first issue of Blade, or like the first appearance of Blade, and it's like fucking Tomb of Dracula, and fucking Blade fights Dracula on a cruise ship. It's like weird. <laughs> it is weird. Like, he like swims up in, in like scuba gear, and he's like, oh, I got to change some new threads because I'm a bad mother. It's like, it's like, it's so like, I love though that you read Dazzler. Oh yeah. Or, Dazzler I, that was made cool. me really happy because like, yeah, it's, it sounds like you make, you're making it up when you tell like that. I actually did. I thought you were making it up when you told me. And I was like, nah, uh, <laughs> I have I read it and I was like, some of those issues. I think I, um, I think. would love to see Disney plus do a Dazzler oh, show. Man. Um, Bring it on. But like, they can't make her cool. They have to make her like, it should be like. Yeah. Yeah, she's like broke and like, you know, like her dad wanted her to go to law school. And yeah, like, she wants to be a pop star. Yeah. Like she it's got to be like and legally she blonde. Makes, she That's makes, like what yeah. it's got to be like. And she makes the uh, fucking enchantress like her arch nemesis. Well, and the enchantress is just her nemesis because like she's jealous. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. Cuz she wanted to land that audition. Yeah. Why the enchantress was auditioning, I don't know, but she was auditioning <laughs> and like, she wanted my it. My plan to take over Asgard starts with this audition. <laughs> well, and she's like oh, and then the dazzler is better and she's like this is bullshit and so they like fight and like i love how the thing is like way too into the dazzler <laughs> when so is the beast like beast here's the audition she's like oh hey hey allison hey, what's up? Hey, i was auditioning my legs like dude beast is fucking thirsty like they're like oh man you're so good allison you're so good at this it's so funny. <laughs> oh well yeah like, this is was was like i think i have like one of the first few issues of this because this was like it's like 1980 yeah 1981 issue one but yeah this is back when she had she's like not the roller skating yep it's like basically don't... like disco dazzler long hair this is pre yeah, pat benatar see, dazzler i don't i don't i didn't like pat benatar dazzler i didn't like that i felt like dazzler is like I, she needs to be on roller skates dazzler is just like a, a, a yeah like the a, yeah a party girl that's why i feel like if they ever introduced dazzler it into some version of the X-Men. It's not cool. I feel like there should be some time travel involved. Like, have it at present X-Men day and they, like, find a mutant like, from the 70s and I comes feel into like our time. when you read Dazzler in the early 80s and, like, that shift when they made, tried to make her, like, kind of post-apocalyptic, like, badass, it's like, I feel like late 80s Dazzler wouldn't have looked like that. I feel like she would just have, like, big hair that had, had like, way too much hairspray that yeah. was, like, parted on one side and she'd be wearing, like, tube dresses yeah. with huge shoulder pads. I like, like, like she punk would not. Dazzler. Yeah, Punk Dazzler isn't as fun. I mean, I feel like... I feel like she'd be, like, I don't know, like, Lady Gaga or, like, I don't know, like, like she, she'd be, she would be pop. She wouldn't be, She would like, be pop. Yeah. I feel like, yeah. Like, no, she wouldn't be cool enough to be, like, Lady Gaga. I feel like... Yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know in modern context because I'm I don't old know what the kids are listening to. It ran for Ariara. 42 issues. 
Yeah, had a good run. That's like four or five years. People were like curious. Yeah, like Ariana Grande. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. Can I get a Ariana Grande latte? <laughs> Yeah. Some of these issues um, have yeah. like pretty sweet cover art. Yeah. No, it's really cool. Um and it was great for me to read Dazzler because I'm trying to read all the X-Men stuff and she's an X-Man, so yeah. Quite fitting, some would say. But yeah, but uh again, kind of we're kind of past the hour mark, so I'm gonna thank everybody for joining in. I'm so happy it's week two and the band is relatively back together. Um, and yeah, uh, new episodes coming out. We're on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, this is my Dazzler. <laughs> Rob just tweeted to the. That's a pissed off group. Dazzler. She's ready to fuck some shit up. It's like Angela's favorite. She's got like disco ball rollerblades, roller skates. Oh, roller skates! Yeah. <laughs> she's not even. She's not even skating. She's just like, yep. just, like stomp walking. Yeah, Dazzler needs to be on roller skates. You know, it's just she's she's a party girl. She wants to be a pop star. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I, th I think yeah. on that everybody should just go look at some Dazzler comics. Exactly, yeah. and drop us some love on iTunes. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>